defending the headquarters position from on the bottom. So, uh, let's say I've got De La Riva and Seth steps over my leg, he drops his hips. This is called headquarters. Good position for, for Seth to be in. Who can tell me what his options are? We're going to go over each option and then we're going to go through what I need to be doing first of all to try to block that. Knee cut, one. Yep. Seth. Potentially knee cut this way. How do I stop that? Uh, possibly. It can be hard to get. So if Seth pushes my knee down, that can often beat my hook from, from coming in. Probably even before that, uh, there's something I can do to try to block Seth knee cut. Yeah, one, grab the ankle, so that's going to make it harder for him to move across. And my the positioning of my right knee here. Yeah. So I wanted to stop the knee cut, I put my knee here. Just go to knee cut. So I can use my leg to block the hip. Okay. Usually I'm going to have a grip on the, on the collar as well. What does this open me up to though? Smash pass, that's right. Okay. You have to be a little bit wary, so we tend to want to keep it like a little bit more in the in the center then. So if Seth wants to smash, I can block. Obviously if my legs on the outside, it's very hard to smash, easy to knee cut. My legs all the way across here, easy to smash, hard to knee cut. So I want to keep it sort of centered and as he goes to knee cut, I can block. And as he goes to smash, I can block. Okay. Either one of them, as you can see there, I want to bring his weight. Forward, okay, which we're going to work in a, in a moment. Um, anything else Seth could do? If I'm not holding the leg, for example. Yeah, so you can kick back and do the X pass. Like that. So I want to hold the leg. And be ready to move his weight forward as well. So even if I didn't have the leg, Seth goes back, I want to kick forward. And we get a chance to regain. What else can you do? Did you tell us they knee side knee through before? Yeah. Did I hear that? Yeah, good. So you can start trying to put this knee down too, which is a problem as well. How do we stop that? This one? Yeah. I can push back there. And I also want to like, uh, as, he, as Seth goes to bring that down, what I want to do, again, is collapse his way forward and off. Yeah. So you see this is a common theme, pretty much for every attack, if I time it right and pull him forward, I can off balance him. So, uh, we turn around again, we'll run go on this side so you can hold it, see? So, pretty much all of these attacks require Seth to have his hands attached to me, okay? Like this. So, and he's going to usually have to put some weight through. So if I can, I want to get his hands on the mat, or at least one hand on the mat. So as soon as I feel Seth go for anything, I pull and I make him post the hand on the mat. Again, we're here, Seth goes to attack, and I'm going to make him post on the mat. All right, a couple of options here. If he steps really wide, this is going to be our first one. We're going to always recover back to De La Hever and today in particular. So we're going to kick this leg wider out. Like that, okay? And I'm gonna keep his weight on his hands. Why do I wanna keep his weight on his hands? So then he can't bother me with his hands again. If I let him get back up and control my leg, he's gonna bother me here, okay? So when we Seth goes to do any one of those, I kick, I pull down with my hand, I let this leg slide lower, and I get a really good angle with my delaheba. Now I've got my hand deep, I got a really good delaheba, ready to push his hips to the mat. Again. We're here like this, step, step, over, and kick out. If I get a chance, I'm going to kick this knee, so he's got a wide base, kick weight on his hands, and then I start moving myself. Got a really good angle, come back, pull in, and then kick out. So for this drill, person on top, uh, you can try any different pass or movement and Seth's got to react to it. So don't just move me Seth, wait till I um, let you go. So they might, so, sorry, I'm in headquarters here like this, 
I start going to Nika. Seth goes here, kicks my leg out, pulls down, so it's hard for me to get up. As I do go to get up, he's getting his angle. And then this foot's gonna go right on the, I keep this one shallow. Yeah, push on my hips. There you my hips okay. Let's work that. Really important reaction to be good at. Okay. Three, two, one. Do a, a shortcut version of this, okay? So, so here like this. Um, maybe you've went to move set, but you didn't really, uh, I wasn't able to get the full, like, large step. Sometimes, like, you, you go here, but he doesn't, he might even put his hand on the mat to keep his balance, but he doesn't give me enough room to kick this leg out, right? So he knows that that's a bad thing. He knows that if I do this and he steps wide and I kick that leg, it's going to really push him away and get him off, off center. So when I bring him forward, he just goes to here, okay? So sometimes, what we want to do there is kick straight back and go foot straight onto the, the hip. Okay. And what I'm going to aim to do here is try and get my hips to land on that foot. So I want to actually like push away a little bit and try to sit on his foot. Like that. Now it's very hard for the set to, to maintain his balance. You have to have the collar here, okay? If I don't have the collar, he's going to leg drag. And the collar is what stops the going to go to leg drag. So the push pull tension will get my Now, while I'm sitting on the foot, I'm going to go down. 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 Shortcut version. Here like this. I go to move set. Usually a little bit across that body, right? So I don't want to straight over. I don't want to pull a little bit across. Lift enough room that I, I can't kick that leg, but I can get my foot to here. Okay. So my foot goes there. And my next step is actually to like push him away enough that I can take his foot under my I'm balancing well. That brings me forward, and I just do this, right? So it's hard for me to kick my leg out, but you can get this foot. And then I push away so that he can sit on my hip. There we go. Now it's hard to get an angle. And it comes up, or they're in Now, just a I usually tell people not to put their foot here. If I don't have that collar grip, it's not a good idea. And if Seth's got a hold of my foot, when I try to do it, it's also not a good idea. Okay. Even when I got the collar, if I try and do this, it's not hard for him to cause the leg drag. So we only do it if his hands on the mat and if I've got the collar. So I'm up here, like this, hands onto the mat. Okay, now I can put my foot there, there's a push pull. Take the foot, put it under my butt. Yeah. Can you get a steamer locked? No. I'm across the gym. So, you won't get a steamer locked for a moment. Here I could, like it was right there. Right there. Not the number where I could. Alright. Let's go, guys. Four minutes each. Three, two, one.